Hey, Karen, are you ready to sing the Pot of Vegetable Garden song? Yes, yes, yes. Awesome. It goes like this. vegetable garden. Say bye, Dan. Bye. Happy gardening. So this is the start of my window garden. Soaking on that, well actually spread on those cherry tomato seeds and I squish the cherry tomato seeds on there and spread it out and let them dry and then I collect them later. I also have uh, cilantro, which we call coriander seeds. Uh, they've been soaking overnight. And then we've got uh, tomato sucker shoots and tops tips. In, in water there so they can uh, grow new roots. I've got uh, collecting the garlic there so that's ready to re-sprout. And then once it sprouts, they go into containers. We use the top shoots. And uh, thank you, Masilla from Learn to Grow for that tip. And then we've got the different leafy greens. So some lettuces and different spinaches and things going in there. Up the top there's the sprouts. They're greening up now and there'll be more information about those uh, coming up in the video. Now, I love growing food on the window. I've just started doing it, and I'm wishing that I, like everything, that I had tried it earlier. There's some sprouts growing in a jar. That's a alfalfa sprouts, and they get rinsed two, three times a day, and I need to get some more of those happening on the way real soon. When growing on the windowsill, we often think of just the old traditional style of growing our herbs and lettuces and garlic chives and things like that. Now they are great, they are great low light herbs and the lists are chives, parsley, mint, cilantro which is coriander, tarragon, oregano and lemon balm. And yes they're great and you should have those. But you also want to consider growing microgreens. Now a microgreen is any type of leafy green that you can grow small and get harvest very quickly. Sometimes anywhere between five days to two weeks you can be eating these little guys when they get around their second true set of leaves. And believe me, the taste is just fantastic. And if you're watching a lot of the cooking shows that are on TV now, they're using a lot of these different microgreens in their salads to give them that zing and that zang. Yes, there's so many beautiful ones you can do. What I recommend is you start off with the broccoli family, such as broccoli sprouts, kale, etc. And they're really fast to grow and super, super nutritious. If you're only going to grow one, Broccoli is the one that you want to grow. Now you also want to consider growing all the different types of sprouts on your windowsill in jars and different types of containers as well because you can add them to the salads as they go and then you can grow also. So you've got your lettuce, you've got your herbs, you've got your microgreens and you can combine them all together into a beautiful, luscious, tasty, leafy salad that believe me, when it's on the table and you're getting, like I said, that zing and that zang from that fresh food and those tasty little microgreens, you are just going to be blown away and you're going to be really surprised at the amount of food that you can grow. Now, you can grow your microgreens in a lot of recycled containers, such as old biscuit containers that you get from the shops. They only need to be about 15 centimetres deep, so it's two and a half inches to a centimetre. And you know, if you're going to go into growing lettuce, you need to be about 25 centimeters deep, a container which is about 10 inches deep. And so, look, consider growing these extra microgreens and the sprouts with your salads and your low light herbs. You're going to be really, really, really super surprised. Now, one of the favorites that I like to grow at the moment are the snow pea sprouts, which I grow in the dark and then I bring out into the light to make them green up and get that chlorophyll on them. Now, what I want you to do is seriously look into growing these fresh greens on your windowsill or on a bright spot where you've got somewhere where the window sun comes through, maybe on a, on a bench top or something like that, and enjoy eating 
fresh food at home and get your kids involved as well because they love eating those little sprouts and they might turn their head up at a bit of lettuce but believe me they look like so much fun and when you get them involved and they're coming up and they're seeing them growing they will eat them and they'll get four times more nutrition from them than they will from the mature plant so please guys give these a go now keep an eye open for the next video where I teach you about growing these wonderful foods in the dark as well it's the next part to the series for growing food in small spaces in urban places all right I'm Marty Ware from the potted vegetable garden happy house and garden and Marty's garden on YouTube hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe if you haven't already and watch on for the next video that's coming up right now happy gardening